I have five games to complete as many challenges as possible. And anytime I complete a challenge, I can upgrade any position on my team. In game one, we started off hot with this user lurk. Yes! Yes, he threw it literally right at me. Spin! Spin! Nick Kwiatkowski's spin is so slow. That's one defensive challenge complete. Three on offense, three on defense, and three are win but challenges that have restrictions on how I can win the game. Our goal is to build the best team possible. And for every challenge that goes uncompleted, I'm gonna have to eat a wing with the last dab from Hot Ones. I really don't do well with spicy food. With our team so egregiously outmatched, my goal here is to rack up as many passing yards and rushing yards as possible so we can work our way towards completing the first two goals. I was not even pressed, guys. And and this is gonna be a lot harder than I originally thought it was. Oh, guys, this is bad. I am really struggling. Thankfully, on fourth and inches, we have life. Hopefully, oh my god. Oh my god, go Cordero. Go Cordero. Go Cordero. Go Cordero, all right. That's 34 rushing yards. I figure as long as we're in the red zone, we might as well give the halfback pass touchdown a try. Maybe we can, maybe we can. Maybe we can. No. Nope. Throw it. Okay, enough of that. We'll try to come back to it later. And for the rest of this game, I tried to rack up as many passing and rushing yards as possible, knowing that the other goals were very unlikely. Oh my God. Finally. Yes. More yards. And thankfully towards the end of the game, he let off the gas and started run committing. So I took advantage and we ended up with a lot of passing yards. Get the touchdown. Yes. We may have gotten absolutely demolished that game, but what he cannot take away from me with a brutal beatdown of a score is 341 out of 500 passing yards, 43 out of 150 rushing yards total. And we got our first unlock from the user lurk at the beginning of the game. We get to upgrade literally any position we want and i know exactly who i'm going with first we have to go quarterback because that justin fields card was missing literally everything and without a doubt in my mind we are getting randall cunningham cunningham is 95 speed amazing throw power and throwing stats and he's going to completely change the game for us why does he change the game you ask because he gets escape artists goodbye justin fields and hello randall cunningham just get more yards complete those challenges get a few better players and then we can go ahead and attempt our win challenges I think it's safe to say we're a little outmatched. Let's just try to see if we can run for this first down. Come on, Cordero. There we go, baby. In the red zone again. Let's try halfback pass. Why? Why does it not work at all? It literally is the worst play ever. To beat a sack. That's one of our three sacks. I seriously cannot even begin to explain how important an escape artist quarterback is in this game. So we'll let this play be talking. Yes. Let's go, baby. Great touchdown. This continued for the rest of the game. He would absolutely gash me on the offensive side of the ball. I would get some yards down the field, attempt to score a halfback pass, probably turn the ball over. And that was the cycle we were in. I did get one more sack towards our total. Sack. Our second of three. No. Yes. We got the sack. And was pleasantly surprised when I look at our yards totals at the end of the game. Randall Cunningham threw for 185 yards, which in addition to the 341 yards we already had from last game, that puts us over our 500 yard goal, allowing for another upgrade. We started the game with 43 out of our 150 total rushing yards. So with Cordero's 22 and Randall Cunningham's 89, that puts us at a total of 154 rushing yards, completing another goal and unlocking our third player. Now with our first unlock, we definitely need to go offense and we Definitely need to go wide receiver. Let's see what options there are. That Cooper Cup is very enticing, but I think I'm actually going to go with the wide receiver out of Green Bay, which kills me to do this, but he's unbelievably good, Devontae Adams. At six foot one, he's basically 95 plus everything with damn near 99 stats in every category. So this is huge for our team. We're going to look at strong safety. I mean, ultimately, there's one dude that really sticks out here. Because I need a good user, we're going to go with this six foot seven, 95 speed incredible coverage jimmy graham this is quite the wide receiver one upgrade without a doubt and defensively our new strong safety is just he's so good with only three games left and three win challenges we're gonna have to start really attempting these now with the two players we just added it's gonna hopefully make a big difference for us our next game gets off to a pretty rough start as he completes the kyle pitts here goes all the way down the field and it ends up throwing a dime for a touchdown got a touchdown but we come back strong thank you Devontae adams finally the new member of our team. This guy started off his first drive mostly running the ball, so I knew if I could force a pass, I might have a chance at another lurk. Yes, he threw it right at me. Jimmy freaking.
freaking Graham, dude. And you'll never guess what happens next. Yes, and we force the rage quits. Oh my God, let's go. But the only problem with that is we did not have much of a chance to complete our other challenges. There's a lot of work left to be done. We have two games left to do it. For our next upgrade, I, I am just absolutely getting dominated by the deep balls and there's nothing I can do about it. We need at least one really good cornerback and that's what we're gonna look at here. What can we get? I'll tell you what we get. We can get Randy freaking Moss. Our rage quit challenge completion upgrade. Out comes Entro roll and in goes Randy Moss. Starting off the next game on defense, I'm sending serious heat every play because I want that third sack. Let's go! We got our sack! That's another challenge complete! We end up forcing the turnover on downs and then change our aim to running coach suggestions the entire game. It's gonna start off with an inside zone. Spin back, Cordero! Let's go! Let's go. Way to break some tackles, man. After scoring a relatively easy touchdown, I was eyeing win by 10 plus points as well. Little did I know this game was going to be a lot harder than I thought. Let's go, man. That's a seven point lead. Oh, he's going to throw a little RPO and then hit me with a spin, two spin moves. Come on. That was the wor absolutely the worst pursuit angle I've ever seen. Holy crap. And he ends up pretty quickly tying up the game. Oh, but it's still early and we fire back. Yes. Yes. Good spin. Good spin. We end up getting into the end zone, but we left him a lot of time with 56 seconds. And he's got one timeout. We scored. That's what's really important. But then we go huge. Pick, pick, pick. Simmons, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Defensive touchdown time. Oh, he's too slow. That's fine. Huge interception. With 10 seconds left and three timeouts, all coach suggestions wants us to do is run clock, which stinks because I think we could have scored, but hey, that's part of the challenge. So I dink and dime my way all the way up the field, end up getting in scoring range, and then make a huge mistake. Why did I lowball that? Why did I lowball it? That was so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. We were in complete control, possibly able to complete two of our objectives here, and instead, I put him right back in the game. No, how? How are, we, how are we missing so bad, dude? How are we missing so bad on one spin move? There goes our two possession lead because I lowball the pass and then missed on a spin move. That is unbelievable. On our next drive, we end up taking a huge sack. Are you kidding me? And then our star player dumbs out. No, come on, stop calling for the ball and go catch it. But on third and 28, Devontae Adams redeems himself. Devontae! He comes up so clutch! From here on out, it's just a matter of clocking out the rest of this game against my opponent. But I couldn't in good faith let this game end without at least trying another halfback pass. Oh my god. Oh, we almost had it! Now there's just one thing left to do, and that's let Robbie Gould do what Robbie Gould does best. That's in. It's gotta be in. It's gotta be in. Mark him off the list, baby! That's two more challenges down. Two more upgrades. If we're going to win by 10 points, which we're really trying to do in this next game, we're going to need another really good wide receiver. And I really think there's only one guy to get here. And he goes by the name of Cooper freaking Cup. And why are we picking him up? Because he's a gold 99 with absolutely unbelievable stats. And he's six foot two, which I thought he was shorter than that. Now we're also going to need another cornerback because I need to be able to press and have the confidence that I'm not going to get ripped apart on the deep ball. So little did I know how much foreshadowing I just gave. And I I also have spotted someone that I like that's kind of a wild card. I was not expecting to want this card, but I think his stats kind of speak for themselves at 245,000 coins, 95 speed, and he's got pretty much upper tier 90s on everything, especially the jumping, and he's six foot. So Byron Jones, you are our second upgrade. Welcome to the team. These are two huge, 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 huge additions. Coop's actually going to be our wide receiver one over Devante. I know, I know. I feel bad about that one. And then for our cornerback two, that's going to be Byron Jones because he's a stud. We've got just a few objectives left. We have to win by 10 points. We have to score a defensive touchdown and we have to throw a touchdown pass with anyone other than a quarterback. And we start off so strong with not one, but two sacks forcing him to a punt on fourth and 30. And on our second play on offense, we go for our favorite cover three bomb to one of our newer additions. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. I thought we were smooth sailing. This was going to be an easy win, but boy, was I wrong. Defense is so hard, and we end up scoring on our next possession to regain our lead. Did we get it? Okay, we got it. I should have added more defensive players. I mean, just look at this. No, 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 no. Block, block, block. Let's go. Get down. Just take off. Just take off, Cunningham. There we go. On to the second half. We're in the driver's seat. Just don't do anything stupid with the football, Adam. That's all you got to do. I threw a pick. I'm so bad at this game, dude. I threw a pick right to him. And then, of course, he ends up scoring, tying up the game. But that's okay, because we can bounce back, right? 
<laughs> right? Please tell me we can bounce back. I, I was literally trying to get down. I swear on my fucking life. I was literally trying to get down. From here on, it just pretty much becomes an onslaught of him tossing the ball up in the air to X, Y, A. Didn't matter the receiver. Whoever it was came down with it against my terrible, terrible defense. And no, we did not win by 10 points. No, we did not score a defensive touchdown. And no, we did not throw a touchdown with a non-quarterback. It looks like we have three wings with the last dab to eat as we have three challenges that we did not complete. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Oh, it's hot. One down. Sweating already. Number two. Oh my God. I'm sweating. My nasal passages have cleared though. This puts hot ones into such good perspective. But if you like this, you'll love a video where every time I scored a touchdown, I open a different pack. It's linked up above. Please go watch it.